Hey guys, and welcome to another video. So today's video is another Cooking with Natalie video. We are making today enchilada lasagna. And I'm so excited to share this recipe with you because it's one of my favorites. Whenever I don't have a lot of time to cook or meal prep, this is my go-to. Today's video is sponsored by Longev Protein Crumbles. And I love Longev because they're plain, so I can season them however I want. They come in this dry form, and it's made from peas. So it's pretty much allergy-friendly. They're gluten-free, soy-free, vegan, and 40 grams of protein per serving, six grams of carbohydrate, and four of fat. So it's a great, great way to like meet your protein needs as a vegan. You can shop Longev Brands online at longevbrands.com and use my discount code Natalie at checkout or you can shop for them on Amazon and use the discount code FITVEGANCHEF. Let's get started with the recipe. All right guys, so we're going to start by hydrating the protein crumbles and seasoning them. So if say for example you're doing like an Italian dish, just use Italian spices, or if you wanna use adobo like I do, you could use adobo, but since today we're making enchiladas, I decided I wanted to use taco seasoning. We're making this recipe super convenient and easy, so I'm getting things that are already made so I can season them. Also, if you need the full recipe, it will be listed in the description box below. So we're gonna start off by heating the water. And once the water hits the boil, we're going to add the protein crumbles and then seasonings after. All right guys, so literally hydrating these protein crumbles takes about a minute, maybe two minutes max. And I don't know if you noticed, but I did put a little bit of taco seasoning, not too much. I'm actually not gonna list that seasoning in the recipe itself, just because we are going to use already red enchilada sauce, and this is gonna flavor it a lot. So I don't wanna go crazy or make it overly salty, but if you want to, you can season it however you want. So right now I am going to be using these corn tortillas as my layer. So instead of traditional enchiladas where you roll up each one and put them here, I am going to be taking a lot out of the work from this recipe and making layers with these, just like a lasagna. So that's why enchilada lasagna. So we're going to start off by just adding a little bit of the sauce in the bottom. And you wanna make sure that you're spreading it out evenly. So every single tortilla gets covered. And what I'd like to do is put two big ones in the middle and then cut a few ones in half like this so I could cover the rest of the area. And I'm gonna show you guys how I log this into my fitness pal and split it into six equal portions for the week. I'm gonna show you all the macros, the total macros and all of that and you guys are gonna be so surprised. And then I just kind of fill in the blanks with the extra ones. And you're going to need a big casserole dish. So after that, I like to put some refried beans, but you can use black beans, you can use um, tree color peppers, like you can use whatever fillings you enjoy. But I like the vegetarian zero fat refried beans. And we're just gonna carefully spread them around in the bottom. All right, now that everything is spread evenly, now we're going to add the Longev crumbles. And this is about three servings of Longev, so enough for six days. And again, we're gonna spread them out evenly. And at this point, I like to add more enchilada sauce. Now the good thing about lasagnas is that you can be very sneaky with picky eaters. And if you have picky eaters in your household, you can hide some vegetables in there. So I love to add spinach to mine, maybe some kale. So just really pick whichever one you like the best. I like spinach because spinach really doesn't have a powerful like taste. So you can really like 
flavor it however you want and it won't be like super overpowering. So this is just frozen spinach that I let thaw out. And again, you wanna spread it out evenly so every person gets a nice bite. And now we're gonna put the rest of the tortillas. So you wanna make sure you cover everything. And I'm using about 12 tortillas total. So I just make sure to split them evenly on the dish. So now this is the fun part, the topping. So here I have about two servings of vegan cheese. And I'm just gonna put that on top after I put my enchilada sauce. And now we're gonna use a full can on the top and make sure every little bit of tortilla is covered because we want those to get super soft and like soak up all the flavors. And then this is completely optional. If you don't like vegan cheese, you can always use nutritional yeast or something like that, or just put like breadcrumbs to make the topping like a little bit more crunchy. And then I'll wait until the very end to put the cilantro because I don't want the cilantro to burn, but I will put a little bit right now, just not too much, but just so it like soaks up all the flavors. And then we can put a little bit more as a garnish at the end. So then I'm just gonna preheat my oven to 300, cover this with aluminum foil, pop it in there, and then I'll get back to it once it's done. All right guys, so while we wait for the enchilada lasagna to cook, I am going to show you how easy it is to track this for the week, how I like to do it. So I like to create a recipe on my fitness pal. So what we're going to do right now is go into that more tab. We're gonna click on that and we're going to go down all the way down to meals, recipes and foods. Tap on that. And as you can see on the top here, I already logged it in. So what I like to do is put all the totals of everything that I'm using for this recipe. So if for example, I'm going to create it from scratch, I go to the bottom where it says create a recipe. I tap on that and then I go to enter ingredients manually. I put the title of the recipe right here, so that's where I'll write enchilada lasagna and the estimated amount of servings. So I usually want to put anywhere from four to six servings and then I take it from there. So let me go back. So that's what you would do if you would want to log it in. But I'm gonna go back to mine but I always, always recommend people to log theirs individually, even if they're following my recipe to the T, because your ingredients might vary, macros and things like that will vary depending on the ingredients and brands that you're using. So I'm going to the edit the recipe. So right here you can see that I put in the refried beans and I logged in the whole container instead of the half a cup. So I logged in the whole container because I'm using the whole container for this recipe. Then I use about two servings of spinach. So I logged that in and I used 12 tortillas total. So I put that in as well. And then you get the point, the vegan cheddar cheese, the protein crumbles and the enchilada sauce. So I ended up using two cans. So I read that there as well. So once I have all my ingredients in bulk set up, then I go to the side, that little arrow on the side. And as you can see, I already titled it enchilada lasagna, six servings, which is perfect for that type of casserole dish. It allows me to cut it in six equal portions and the calories come out to be approximately 408 calories. Protein is coming out to be 28.2 grams and carbohydrates 53.2. So then what I do after I have everything in here, if I want to split this recipe into eight equal portions, you see how it already calculates everything out. So depending on my macros and how much I can fit, then I'll know how many times I have to cut that enchilada for. So I'm going to keep it for six because I'm feeding two and that's perfect for three days. So one for George, one for me, and we're going to save that. If I'm going to log this into my diary, all I have to do is click on that add to diary tab and that's it. All I have to do is add one serving and I add it into my lunch, breakfast or dinner. 
All right, guys, so that is how I track my recipes whenever I'm cooking in bulk. I hope you learned a little bit something and let me know how you track your recipes. All right, guys, you saw how easy that was. It took no time in preparation and only less than an hour to cook in the oven. I literally forgot about it, did some chores, and now we get to taste this. I'm so excited. It looks so good. Check it out. I'm gonna grab a big bite here with a little bit of everything. Still hot. <laughs> This is so good. You guys, if there's any of my recipes that you need to try, this is one of them. This is so tasty, so flavorful, delicious. And I already cut into six equal portions for the week for George and I. Here's his piece, so he's gonna devour this. I'm gonna devour this one. And I wanna shout out Longjeb Brands. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Let me know in the comment section, what should I make next in another episode of Cooking with Natalie. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new here, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.